because you just don't even take a sick leave unless you're in a coffin you don't take a day off work and yeah. to explain that i'm not going to go to work because i have a mental health problem yeah. was laughable and it was really crushing for my big inflated ego at that point in time to have to do that but i just simply couldn't go so i was at home and i found this documentary it was on channel nine because we didn't have netflix of course or foxtel this was pre-internet and I started my research, I started meditating, and it was an absolute game changer. Now I went back to work and I went back into that job in the same company with the same clients for 16 more years. And what the meditation did was that it removed and reduced that stress response that I was having so I could be fully engaged, fully present, fully in that job. Now, of course, I still did lose my shit at times and I wasn't a perfect enlightened monk. It, it showed the incredible power of an ancient technique mm. to certainly enhance and optimize the human experience. And so I became like an evangelicalist that, is that the right word, that just couldn't be stopped. You, I just wanted to get this out into the world. I couldn't believe that this simple technique of closing my eyes, repeating a primordial vibration mm. could have such a profound effect on my physiological, mental and emotional state and spiritual state. And that really inspired me and motivated me to become quite enthusiastic about getting that out to the world. So that's been my mission and vision for a long time now. Yeah.